Hey guys, and welcome to another edition of Gifted Monkey TV, all things toy and toy related. I'm your host, Jordan Preston, and when we come back, we're going to take a look at a Play Arts Kai Arkham City figure with an alternate costume that's sure to get under your skin. Respect the monkey! Hey guys, and what did I tell you? Here we are with the Play Arts Kai Arkham City alternate 70s Batman skin for the Batman action figure. This is really cool. I'm so excited to have this and take a look at this. But before we get started, let's take a look at this wonderful box. And as we take a look at this fantastic looking box, you see Play Arts Kai has done their usual stylish uh theme on their box where they put the actual action figure in its pose on the right on smack on the front of the box telling you this is a bad bad ass figure and we like it so we're going to put it smack in your face right on the box and that's what play arts kai's does so well they put their figure in a nice pose right on the box to show you how great it looks here you see the batman arkham city logo that's there right there batman arkham city you see the actual 1970s skin batman figure right there and we turn it around to the side now those of you who might not know play arts kai is a japanese based uh manufacturer who got their strong start in the early 2000s doing uh action figures based on popular video games so they have big licenses like halo and uh all of them you can think of uh halo um you name it they have it and just started getting the dc uh, Marvel licenses in the last three years or so they've been doing the the video games and stuff from DC all the action heroes and they just really are starting to build a strong name for themselves in the superhero market really like what they're doing especially with the DC line they're doing a front great front job with that as we take it and check it around again to the side and to the back we see that they have a picture of the full figure of the picture right here, number seven Batman, 1970 skin. They have it written in Japanese all around here. They're all the indicia on the bottom here. They have a picture of the other figures that came out in the Arkham City line. They have the Joker with his knife in his hand. That's very great there. Very good. Play Arts Kai. And turn it around to the front. On the top, you just see the Play Arts. And when we open this box up, voila, we see the actual Dark Knight in there looking great and all bad and his stuff in there. And inside on the sleeve of the uh, box, they have the uh, Batman Arkham City story and how Batman returns and all that and talks about it. And they have a picture of the figure again standing nice and stoic and big Batman, 1970s bat suit skin, Play Arts Kai beautiful and there's our figure there's our bad boy right there let's take him out and take a look at what comes with him the arkham city 70s batman skin figure doesn't come with a lot of accessories basically comes with four hands and a battering you get two fists right and left that kind of just plug into his to uh the nice little sprockets on his wrists and you get these kind of exaggerated action hands like that and another one a little different i guess that can hold a uh, the batarang and then you get this batarang the batarang is a little thick it's got a nice little point to it, it won't hurt the kitties if they get around them it's not super sharp but it's a little thick a little too thick for my liking but it looks good from a distance and it's done in that gold mat very nice and then we get the standard play arts kai stand which gives you all the directions on the side of how to put together. It comes with screws and all that stuff like that. It's really kind of cool. I never use stands on my figures. Nine times out of ten, I do not use a stand on my figure. But it comes with a nice uh, translucent clear stand that you can put on your figures to make him raise up, do kicks, or just stand in a museum pose if you like. And it gives you directions on both panels on how to put the stand together and how to plug in the hand pegs and put the, what hand to use for the batarang on that side. Very cool stuff. Before we get into the articulation, I just want to take a quick look at this great face sculpt. Play Arts Kai usually takes liberties with their 
uh, likenesses, and they usually get really much of a very much an anime look with their likenesses. But they've been very, very uh, true to form on the Arkham and Arkham City action figures to make the Batman look as close to the Arkham City video game as they can. So they get a nice gritty. Batman look in there. This is very much like the comic book version of the 70s. Nothing to do with the uh, Adam West goofiness of the Batman, campiness of the Batman TV series. This is a skin from the 70s comic book era. So it looks still hard in Neil Adams type of art. Still looks very great and serious. Batman's ready to take care of business. Just a 70s style skin with the gray and the blue look. Now let's take a look at the articulation. Batman's head with Player's Kai gets that nice neck swivel. Neck can go all the way to the side, down. Nice head up arch like that, right into the camera. Look at that. And he's on that separate neck joint as well, so the neck gets movement in it as well as the head. So you can move the neck one way and move the head another way. Very nice. We get that arm. Pivot all the way up with that second joint in there as Player Kai always uses. Nice lats. They put a nice sculpted lat into this Batman figure. So you get his arm up pretty nice and high like that. You get a nice bicep swivel as well. There's a bicep swivel in there if I can lock down his, his deltoid. There we go. You get a bicep swivel in there. You get a nice ratchety arm. Elbow bend right there. You get a nice pivot on his wrists. Up and down, sideways, all around on that. Even get a little, on his gauntlet, could even swivel a little bit like that. Not totally around, but it swivels around enough that you get some nice action in that. Same exact thing on the right. You get that nice little extra joint in there on the right, the ball joint, and you get this, you get the uh, swivel, if I hold it still, on his bicep, top of his bicep, and you also get the arm. You get a nice little rotation on his wrist and again with the swivel of the wrist you get a nice swivel up and down on the wrist very much down like that you get a nice ab crunch in there take you down about that much bend you up about that much it doesn't go all the way back it goes up pretty good though and as always with a lot of the play arts guy uh, superhero action figures that have briefs have those little trunks they make the trunks and the butt a separate piece so it floats it's just a floating, rubbery piece. Usually, it's a harder rubber than this. This is a very soft, malleable rubber connected right onto the utility belt, and the briefs are one. So there's no, that's right, one, one piece. See if I squeeze that? That utility belt and the briefs are one whole separate piece away from the body. You can pull it out and even see like that. I don't know if I like that that much, but you know what? Play Arts Cry, you're always getting some weird, beautiful mess in their sculptings. It makes for great articulation, but if you actually look at piece by piece of the figure, it looks very weird and very uh, disconcerting when you look at it and play with it for a minute. But it makes for good articulation. Nice ratcheted side. Legs go up that way. Thighs all the way up like that for a full. Look at that Van Damme split right there. <laughs> Right there, you get a nice ratchet, double-jointed knee, so you can go all the way back like so. Get nice down like that on the ankle. Ankle pivot goes up like that. Get ankle swivel as well. Get nice grips in the bottom. Look at those grips in the bottom of the soles of the shoes. I like that. Nice. Very authentic. There is no calf rotation. These boots are sculpted right onto the leg sculpture. So there is no calf rotation. Same thing with the left. You get that split. You get the thigh. You get the nice double joint in there. You get the rotation of the calf. Once again, the boot doesn't. Boot is sculpted. No rotation of the calf at all. It does not turn. And the waist. You get a waist swivel. You can swivel the waist right and left. Once again, very weird feeling to see this, these briefs and the belt float all around while you're bending this guy. But that's the way it is. And there is no, uh, there's not a, a strong rotation in the gauntlet. So the gauntlet itself is sculpted on as well. It does not rotate. Only the forearm rotates a little bit. The actual forearm rotates a little bit. But that's it. And as always with a caped figure of Play Arts Kai, you get that ball. They actually articulate the cape. They put a little ball joint in there so the cape can flow out and flow separate around so you can get nice flowing Batman scenes on the cape. Look at that. 
And if I'm not mistaken, these capes pop out too. You don't need to pop it out, but just in case you didn't want Batman with this part of the cape, you can pop it out and put it back in, plug it in. But you don't need to really do that. It comes in three or four sections. You see one, two, three sections on each side. And it has that spread. But then when you put it all together, it closes up pretty nice into a pose that you can hardly see the, the uh, wrinkling effect or those gaps in the cape. Very nice. It, again, it's another thing that Polaris Kai does that makes great articulation in a cape, but it looks very weird and disconcerting when you first look at it until you get used to it. If you've had a few Polaris Kai figures, then you, you know it by now, but if this is your first Polaris Kai figure, it might look a little weird to you to have a figure that does all this craziness on itself, but it works for great articulation. Let's take a look at this figure. Looking at the overall presentation of this Arkham City 1970s skin Batman figure, I gotta tell you, I'm very impressed with it. I've heard some yay and nays on it, but I like it. The washing, the, the black, uh, the silver, the, the gray washing with the uh, black wash going through it, and the, the bat emblem looks great. The buckle detail I love. I love the cape detail and the great expression on his face. A lot of times, Play Arch Kai on their superhero faces, they tend to be washed out with a paleness, and then they have some kind of black wash that goes over the face that really makes it dark, like they have circles on their eyes and stuff. But that's usually with figures that don't have a mask on, but the way they did this mask and the coloring of his complexion is just really great on this. I like the look, the sculpt of the cape. It's nice and flared, and it gives you a nice Batman feel, classic Batman ominous feel to it. I love the musculature. Play Arts Kai does a thing with their super hyper muscular figures, especially the superheroes. They do that, but I like it on this Batman. It works. I like the boot detail. I like the cape. Now, I like the fact that the cape can look nice and uh, flaring without being spread out with gaps in it. Now, like I said, Polaris Kai has only been doing DC figures for about the last three years, uh, a lot, uh, with their action figures. And so they started with the Arkham series line, and they had the capes that separated, and you had to really separate them with big gaps to have them look very dynamic. And when you turn them around, they had big gaps in them. But this, as you see, can still have a nice flared look, and still all the pieces look very pleasant to the eye, which I really enjoy that that's coming. I think Polaris Kai is starting to hit their stride now as they go into their third year of doing figures with capes and now they're starting to really get that feel of how to work that flowing cape well. And you can still make the cape even bigger with the ball joints in the back. I like that effect. I like the dynamism. I like the veins running through the arm. It looks very good. I like the way that with this particular figure that the joints are kind of hidden. With the washes and the musculature, the joints are kind of hidden, which is very nice in this particular figure. I like that. Now, this figure comes in height-wise a little about nine and a quarter inches, not quite ten inches, but as a height comparison, I want to show you what you get. This is a DC collectible six and a half, seven inch figure right here. This is a 12 inch Dark Knight figure right here. So there you go. That's how that looks. That's the height comparison. You get a 12 inch figure right there. This is the nine and a quarter inch, 12 inch, and this is about six and a half, seven inch figure right there. And I like the fact that uh, Play Arts Kai is in between the both of them because not quite as small as a six inch figure, the Mattel figures, DC collectible figures, but not quite as big as a 12 inch figure. So you see some space room and some shelf room and it still can get some great dynamic poses in there. Speaking of posing, Let's take a look at how this particular Batman will live in its display at the Gifted Monkey Studios. In a nice diorama with the big boy here, Solomon Grundy from DC Collectibles from the Arkham City line. He is a big boy and he's so big that this 10 inch, over 10 inch scale figure fits perfectly in line with Solomon Grundy. Still shows his awesome size and shows a nice detailed Batman. And he's also such a nice detail that he fits right in with the beautiful detail and scaling of this uh, Play Arts Cry Batman. Look at that. This is a diorama I made where they're fighting in the basement of Arkham. Do you see Grundy holding a Solomon, uh, Grundy holding the uh, boiler room door that he ripped off? Solomon Grundy. All this done with stone paint and styrofoam. A little Arkham sign in the back. Batman getting his leverage. Got a, got a batarang thrown right into his chest, which sunk in. Doesn't seem to phase him. And that's how 
Ar Arkham diorama looks with our Player Arts Kai Batman and our DC collectibles Solomon Grundy. So there you go. That's a look at our Player Arts Kai Arkham City 1970 skin Batman. Now this guy will run you anywhere from the mid 70s on up to maybe uh, the, the low 90s in price. You can't get them at uh, Toys R Us or Target or any of those uh, commercial type stores. You usually get them from the mom and pop stores or you can go order them from Play Arts Kai or things like that, Sideshow, that type of stuff for your mom and pop store in your neck of the woods. Um, should you get them? I'll tell you. If you like all things Batman, then maybe you should, he'd be a great investment to have because he's a great looking skin. He's a great looking representation of that Neil Adams 1970 uh, era Batman. They really did a great job with them. The utility belt, the, the color scheme, that great bat logo, the flexibility, and even with Play Arts Kai, unique way of styling an action figure, it doesn't get in the way with this skin. It actually looks really cool. The, the definition and the muscularity and the joints look very cool. They, they blend nicely. So I would say, yeah, he's a nice investment. Only if you really like all things Batman and you want to have a 1970s Batman, a 1990s Batman, a 2000, you know, you just want to have all eras of Batman, you don't care. But if you really just like the Arkham City Batman and you have the, the one that comes with the original Arkham City uh, current Batman that they use in the video game, and unless you want to get all the skins for the sake of you want the skins, I would say pass on him just because of that. But if you collect Batman, you like all things Batman, doesn't matter what era, you just like Batman stuff, this is a great investment because it's a great looking Batman. It's done very well. And it's a great homage to an era of Batman that we don't see a lot with the yellow logo. They don't do that stuff a lot too much anymore with, with uh, the yellow logo on action figures with Batman anymore. So that's a good, a good investment to get involved with. So there you go. That's a look at him. And write down below and let me know what you think of the Arkham City's 1970s skin. And remember to like us. And also check us out on Pinterest, Gifted Monkey TV on Pinterest. And to like us and check us out on Facebook, Gifted Monkey TV on Facebook. Because we got different, different stuff on all different mediums that don't appear on the show. And remember to comment below because I love hearing from you guys and I always get back to you. And thank you guys for having it. And above all, subscribe. So, you remember... Playing with toys, even a Play Arts Kai 1970 skin Arkham City Batman action figure. Can be as fun as a barrel of monkeys, but respect the monkey. Play nice. Take care, guys.